Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a new video today and today I'm going to be filming finally my color pop haul video. I have a few goodies that I want to share with you guys that I recently got from ColourPop. So let's just jump right in because I'm like super excited to be filming this for you guys. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by the little note. I love getting these little notes from ColourPop. I just think they're so creative. Um, mine says... Hey love, thank your mom for the jeans that gave you your crazy good looks. Happy Mother's Day. So I did get this around Mother's Day and they sent a Happy Mother's Day um, little uh, card. Um, so I love getting these. I love seeing what they, what they send along with the package. I did purchase all of the spring collection eyeshadows along with one of the eyeliners and one of the, uh, I believe they're the Ultra Satin Lip lippy sticks and then I got a few of the matte X so I'm gonna start off with the spring colors the spring eyeshadow colors so the first one is a like I don't know um, the name is flutes so they have the name on the back I don't know why they don't have them on the little box so the name is flutes it is really creamy very creamy base um, I actually wore this yesterday and I don't know like I think this is my least favorite shadow that I got I wasn't too fond of the color just because of the way it applies if you've tried ColourPop eyeshadows you know that they're really tricky with applying usually they're best applied when you apply them with your fingertips that's how you get the most pigment out of them the most color and I tried applying this one with my finger and a eyeshadow brush and I just didn't like the way it applied I just didn't like the consistency I didn't feel that I was getting very much pigmentation so um, I mean I like the color but I don't like the formula the next color is the I believe this one's flower lily if I'm not mistaken this is oh it's not flower lily it's flower shop um, and this one I haven't yet used yet and this is a color, it's like a, kind of like a little shamrock, that's what it reminds me of. It's like a nice green, like a lighter shade of green. Um, let me show you guys the color through my finger. This is a pigment. They're really like metallic -y. that's what I love about them. So this is a color that it comes with. Again, this is from the Spring Collection. And then, again, remember ColourPop is only online, so you can only find these online. And then the next color, this is, I think this is my favorite out of all the spring collection. And this is the, I believe it's Belladonna. Oh, this is where I got the lily from, Belladonna Lily. And this is a really beautiful, like, pastel, like, aqua, like a nice turquoise. It's just beautiful. Look at this. It's, like, very chalky. But once you apply it, it is so beautiful. I'm going to put a picture of when I wore it for the first time. And oh my goodness, I fell in love with it. Super beautiful color. And I thought this color is just beautiful for spring and summer. Just because it's very vibrant. It's so bright. Um, and it just stands out from, from a distance. You're able to just see it. And then I believe, let me see how many more other colors. I ended up getting this one, which was the one I was the most excited for. And then when I wore it for the first time, I did like it. But I don't know. I think maybe the colors that I combined it with didn't really make it, didn't really make this a star of the show. So I think I need to like kind of play around with it a little bit more. And this is Luckfully. And it's like a blue, like a really deep, like midnight blue in a way. Here in the camera, it looks like more of like a royal blue. But if you just look at it from here, it's more like a midnight blue. So it's a very, it's another like little metallic eyeshadow. And this is the color. So it's very nice metallic -y. But again, I think that the colors that I played around with when I first tried it out were not the best. So I think I'm going to need to give it another try. And then the last color is a very neutral. Let me clean my finger. I have like my little makeup removing wipe here to clean my finger. Um, 
And it's a very like neutral nude eyeshadow. This is Waddles. I believe I'm saying that right. Waddles. And this is the last of their um, spring collection eyeshadows. And this one's very, I mean, obviously I've worn it too. And it does apply very nice to like really go like deep in there and like get the most out of the color. So it's really, really light. It's a very, very neutral nude color. Like very. So you have to have like really like dig in there to get more and more color. So you have to keep kind of building up the color with this one. But it's very nice. So then along with the spring collection, I ended up getting... Now, this one was actually by mistake. I didn't really mean to get this one. I just... Let me tell you guys. Um, when I was online trying to get the spring eyeshadows, I seen this one. And mind you, I had never gotten a ColourPop eyeliner ever in my life. I've always just lip sh uh, eyeshadows or like the lippy sticks. So when I seen this one, it was obviously like this on the website. And I don't know what I was thinking. And I thought it was an eyeshadow. So it's the purple... It's called uh, Disconzo, and it's a cream eyeliner. It's a purple. I don't know why it looks blue on here, but it's purple. It's like, it looks blue. That's so crazy. It's blue on the camera. But it's like a very deep purple. But anyway, so I seen the little pot like this, and I thought this would be a really beautiful bright purple to use for the um summertime, for the springtime. And then once I had received my confirmation email, and then I read liner, I don't even know why I didn't see it. Obviously, when you purchase, when you add them to your cart, it only has a name of the product. So it only said Disconzo, but when, once I received my confirmation email, I seen liner. So I was like, are you kidding me? But I actually ended up using it yesterday with a very, like, basic, like, nude colors. And I added the liner on top. And it looks really nice. It really gives your eyes that nice pop of color. So I didn't mind it, but I didn't mean to get it. But it is from their spring line. Then also from the spring line, I got the botanical. Oh, it's the ultra satin lip, and it is botanical. Um, I think when I first wore it, I put a little too much of it. I think I need to like be a little bit go easier. I went too aggressive on um, with the color that ended up look, looking too orange. Or I don't know if it's just my complexion and my undertone made it look a little bit more orangey than what it is. Because I've seen other people like post it on Instagram like. Uh, swatches like on their lips and it looks more of a nude and with me it looks super orangey so I don't know if it's just me or it's my undertone but this is a color botanical that's the color it's very nice it's a nice like peachy orangey type of color which is really nice you know um for the like an everyday kind of wear. And that was it for the spring colors. The Lippy Stick, the Matte X. They came out with the Matte X line. It is this one. Okay, so it's a Lippy Sticks and they're called Matte X. Um, I have not tried them yet. This is the first time I'm going to be even swatching them. I got a few of their colors. I got one, two, three, four of them. So I got four of the Matte X. I believe there's like, I don't know, I want to say maybe like eight of them maybe I'm not too sure six or eight I got four of them so this is the topless color this is what the um, lippy sticks looks like so it's just like the regular other lippy sticks but this is again the because this is supposed to be a lot more matte so again I went with the little orangey kind of color I love this color for summer I think like this is my summer go-to color I love the orange I'm gonna put it right next to botanical so if you can see it's really similar to botanical this is botanical this is topless but obviously this is the matte color very nice orangey it has like it's like an orangey like base but with like a peachy undertone in there like in the mix it's very very pretty um so that was topless and this one is tickler which i think this is one i was most excited for i believe it's this one tickler it's like that barbie pink i want to say so this is tickler and this is a color for tickler it's like that bright Barbie-ish pink in a way with like a small like purple undertone in it. So that is Tickler. I need to do my swatches a lot higher than that. And then I have a backup. And I think backup was, oh, it's a very dark shade. Let me put it over here. It's more of like a plumish plummy kind of color 
deep again but it's very nice for like the summertime there's like a year-round plum color that you can wear all throughout the seasons and then i have this one is called barely i think this is the neutral one that i was talking about barely there it's more of a like neutral kind of like little blush barely there and this is the color it's this one right here so it's more of a nice not too natural pink but more like a lip you know um rosy kind of pink that's barely there which i hope you guys enjoy again ColourPop is only online but let me tell you guys these eyeshadows are five dollars you cannot go wrong and you get so much out of them the formula is just amazing the colors the, like the pigmentation is great they're five dollars the um ultra satin lips are six dollars and again they last all day the color is they're gorgeous they last all day the pigmentation you can get gloss or you can get matte your choice the lippy sticks as well the lippy sticks are actually five dollars these are actually five dollars and i'm just i love this line like it is my favorite makeup line as of now for especially for eyeshadows because again look at the pigmentation it is so they're so 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 incredibly pigmented and i just love them so I hope I feel like I'm getting myself dirty with all of these swatches right here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can see more beauty videos, fashion videos. I hope you guys checked out my last mommy video. I'm actually in the making. I'm going to start a process of making another mommy video that I hope you guys enjoy really soon. Actually, I have two videos lined up for you guys, for you mommies out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to subscribe to my or follow me on my fashion blog at fashionistainthecity.blogspot.com. So follow me on my Instagram at fashionista and the city underscore. Follow me on my Snapchat Ash Gastelum, which is the name of my YouTube channel. Twitter, if you wanna, you know, tweet away at sg underscore twenty four. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see any more of these type of videos or any other suggestion, whether it be mommy fashion or beauty, leave me a comment below and let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.